Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cutting Tips and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. So basically, we have ended the series where we create a website like shriplegend.com and I was wondering what can I do for this Tuesday? Well, actually I had a couple of things in mind, so I was thinking of showing you how to create like a grid system uh, using floats and CSS, but then I realized that there is something a lot more important and a lot more useful that I want to cover on my channel. So I've never actually talked about PHP and I've never actually shown you in PHP, but and I don't really expect you to know any PHP, but I'm going to show you how to uh, shorten your work time as a web designer, let's say in half. So it's really useful and of course this is just an example and uh, you can always use it on your real time uh, project. But yeah, so basically we are going to be doing something uh, with PHP as the already see. Alright, so what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is here we have a nav menu, alright? And we have three pages. It's a really simple nav menu. I'm not going to explain how I did it because it's really simple. But uh, we have a navigation menu and basically we have three pages as you can see that it links to three other pages, uh, to two other pages, this is the main one. But uh, basically we um, have to put this navigation menu in the other two pages. Now of course this is small code, this is like 10 lines of code and that's no problem of just copying and pasting it in the other pages but let's say you have a huge code like let's say um not a lot like let's say a framework that we've created and we have a grid system and everything and we don't want to go ahead and copy it for each and every page if we want to make it look the same what we want to do is what we want to write it once and then be able to use it everywhere so i'm going to show you how to do that with php so first of all, of course, um, I don't expect you to know any PHP, but uh, we have this folder here, and your file has to be a .php. Now in PHP, you can write HTML, no problem, the same way, but you can't open it uh, with the browser, as you can see. How do you open a PHP file? Well, basically, to preview what you're doing, you're going to have to download a program called MAMP or XAMPP, doesn't matter which one you choose. So it's really easy to install. You just install it and you open MAMP, not MAMP Pro. They're different. And um, I'm going to stop the servers and show you uh, why you need it. I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, we can't reach the site. And when, once you install MAMP, you're going to go to Preferences. And of course, you're going to choose Apache. You're going to go to Web Server and you're going to choose Apache. But you're also going to have to change the document root. So basically, uh, you're going to choose the document root of your file, of your folder that the website is in. So I've chose, um, let me just show you how you do it. So you go to the folder and you click on select. Click OK and then you start the server. And basically it's going to create a local host. And uh, yeah, no, so once it loads, um, it might actually show you um, like a home page of MAMP. But uh, you can go, well, you can either go to localhost um, 8888 or you can go, you can click on that home page, my website or my project, and then you'll be good to go. So let me just delete this. Um, all right, so, okay, stop. Um, all right, so basically, um, you're, you're set up, you're done with the setup, and uh, now we have to use some PHP code. So we are going to be creating it in a new file, of course. So I'm going to create actually a new folder uh, in my folder. And I'm going to call it um, include. And now I'm going to go over to Atom. And I'm going to uh, create a new file. And I'm going to call it header.php. Because we want to use, uh, we're going to be importing the header there. And I'm going to put it in the include folder. Now you don't have to put it in the include folder, I just like it because it's more organized that way. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're not going to be putting any PHP code inside. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying the whole header. Or you can also just copy the whole body and the whole head. And actually, let's just say we can copy... Okay, so what are we going to copy? Um, let's just copy this. Alright, seems fair enough. You can also copy the HTML, but 
okay, well, we can copy everything basically. So I'm gonna delete this. And now we're gonna paste it in here. There we go. Alright, so now when we refresh, as you can see, of course nothing happens. But now we're gonna be now we're gonna be including this PHP code in our index.php. So um it's really simple actually, and you're just gonna open up your PHP tags. So oops, sorry. Um, so um, I know that you don't know any PHP, or I'm guessing that you don't know. But this is how you open and close PHP tags. So basically, between these, between this and this, you put your PHP code. Now you can have several of these. It's basically just like JavaScript. You can have uh, multiple uh, script tags in your page. But uh, now we're gonna add the include. So include open the parentheses and you're basically gonna put the root of the include file so it's include and then it's header.php oops now when we refresh we can see that it's here now if you go to view page source you can see that it's actually rendered as it's there it doesn't render the include and that's really useful um it's actually not really that useful it doesn't really matter but as you can see now I can oh sorry uh, now I can put it, I'm just going to co copy this, so now I can put it in the about PHP and in the contact PHP. Refresh, and now you can see that it's the same everywhere, and you can see that uh, the directory is changing. Um, there we go. So, of course, um, if you want, if you don't want them to be the same, if you want them to be only the header let's say so I'm gonna go back and copy everything here so if you only want the header if you only want to copy the header you can uh, paste it in here and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna open PHP oops sorry uh, PHP like this and we're gonna basically do the same thing include uh, the include folder and then header.php now when we refresh we can see that actually here it's not um, it's not uh, with CSS because we haven't included actually uh, you know the CSS in here we've only included uh, the header tag in the U the or onward list tag but of course um, we can create a new file so I'm gonna call it C header CSS or something Header CSS.php. I'm gonna put it in the include file. Now, of course, this is not necessary. Um, oops, header CSS. And I'm just gonna copy this. Or, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna show you something really cool with PHP again. So I'm gonna call this. Oh, wait. Sorry. Um, what are we gonna call it? head yeah head that PHP not header head all right um, oh, forgot to open it nice all right so now we have opened it and uh, what we can put in there is basically the whole head now I'm gonna show you something really cool in a second so um, again same way open up PHP and now we're gonna include um, include slash head dot php and uh, as you can see we have still coding plus as title so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to about uh, and we're gonna basically just write really simple you know the standard HTML startup code, real fast. Um, actually, have you included a head? There we go. All right. So now we're gonna include the head here, uh, like this. Include. Uh, include slash. What was it? Oh, yeah, head dot head dot uh, dot PHP, and then. We're gonna open our body tag, and then we're gonna include 
include the header header.php. And as you can see, about us is the same, but we still haven't created a contact, but I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in here. Nice. So um, we're not done yet. Actually, we are done if you wanna see only this, but let's say you want every tab to have a different title over here. I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it's really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the variables in PHP. Now they're really simple. They're like JavaScript, except that you don't write var, you write the dollar sign like in jQuery. So I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that. Don't worry, it's nothing hard. Anyone can do it, even if you've never seen PHP before. All right, so we are gonna include it in our head PHP. So in the beginning, we are gonna open our PHP uh, tag and we're gonna create a variable. So this is how you, in JavaScript, we create variables by writing variable and by writing the keyword and then assigning it to a value. But in PHP, it's the same way, except we don't write var, we put the dollar sign and then we write the name of the variable. So I'm gonna call it the variable title and I'm gonna assign it to null. Just like in JavaScript, no is nothing. Now what you're gonna do in the title, well, you can't put, like in JavaScript, you can put the name of the variable title and you're gonna ex expect the title to be whatever the uh, value of the variable is. But in PHP, um, you're actually gonna have to put the dollar sign in of the title. But now, if you refresh, you're gonna see that it's title. That's because we don't have the PHP tag. So we're going to include PHP, really simple like this. And now we are going to get title. Oh, actually, we're going to echo the title. Just like document.write, there is echo. So echo title. And now you can see that it's nothing because it's null. But we can always assign it later. So we're going to assign it to null. But in the beginning of every file, we're at the very top, we're going to open our PHP tag. Okay, oh, no, sorry. Uh, like this. And uh, we are going to change the, uh, the value of title to home. And then end it with a semicolon. And now, as you can see, actually, hold on. Title equals home right um I'm not really sure where the error is here PHP title home right, what if we don't include it here I'm not really sure why this is happening okay well I guess I'm not really sure I know it's because of the order of the normal document flow order but I, th I thought that it should rewrite it, but I guess it's no problem, so we don't have to define it in here, so sorry about this, so we're not going to be defining it here, and now it says home. Now we're going to go over to, I'm going to close header php name.css, we're going to go over here, and in, sorry about that, and at the very top, you know, open our php. And we're gonna assign the variable title to about us. There we go. And now at contact, we're gonna do the same thing. Just a second. PHP. Title equals to, what are we gonna, oh yeah, uh, contact us. Uh, there we go. So now um, we have created the title to be different for every page. Now, as you can see, variables are very important in PHP, but they're important in JavaScript and whatever language you use. But yeah, so instead of copying and pasting this code over and over for every single page, you just put it in one page and then you use the include method in PHP. So include open parentheses, quotes, and inside the quotes, you write the directory of the file that's, that has the, you know, the code that you want to include. 
and also we can put in variables for the title as you can see so I'm gonna go over again with the variable for the title so we've opened up our PHP tag of course so we can use PHP and then the echo means that you're gonna echo whatever comes right after this now in PHP when it's a single line PHP you don't have to put a semicolons I mean it won't hurt to put them but you don't have to um, otherwise if you put echo like let's say hello um, you might get an error yep uh, so but if you actually put you know like this you should get no error so again if there's only one statement you don't have to put on um, the semicolon but it won't hurt if you put it so with echo we are basically gonna echo whatever comes after that but uh, what, af what comes after echo is the variable title and here we've assigned the variable title to home here to about us and here to contact us and so basically it's gonna use this value for this page um, in the include file so yeah this is it for this tutorial it wasn't really short but I hope it was really useful now you can I'm you can use this for whatever you want you can be including like grids and like um, if there's like landing not uh, sorry, uh, footers uh, basically side menu uh, side nav whatever you want so yeah the the only thing you have to know about PHP right now is include and you don't even have to know variable so yeah that was it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next Tuesday bye guys